<laughs> hey, I got a question. Do any of you guys know any lottery winners? I mean, do any, does anybody know a lottery winner? Elevating the outdoor living. So I was talking to my boy yesterday. He actually called me up and he was like, Wayne, you got to go play lottery. And he knows me. He knows I don't really play a lottery. So he's like, dude, you got to go play, bro. It's up to a billion dollars, a billion dollars. You got to go play. He was like, at least just put $10 on it. I'm like, okay. And the funny thing was, I really had to ask him and like, bro, like, how do you play the lottery? Because I never really played the lottery before. Do you really want a billion dollars at one time? And I know everybody's gonna scream and holler, Dwayne, yes, you're crazy, you're crazy, take the money, blah, blah. I'm not saying I don't want a billion dollars. I actually, one of my life goals is $2.5 billion net worth. Okay, so if you follow statistics and they say, nine out of ten people who win the lottery go bankrupt okay so that's nine out of ten people so you take ten people that's nine i mean i guess we can all count so i don't need to repeat it so what makes you and what makes me and what makes everybody else think that they're that one who can get all that money survive the onslaught of their friends and family survive the onslaught of the financial broker who knows how to handle millions why you don't to do something with it. Now, granted, it, it would be a lot of fun. I mean, you I mean you can get some plane rides, some private jets. You know I mean, and the, the money goes fast. I mean, a billion dollars, you'll probably it probably take you a lifetime to spend that. I mean, that's a lot of money. So I'm not against that one. But you also got to protect it. You mean bank accounts only protect you up to two hundred thousand dollars, and then you got to so you're gonna have a bunch of accounts that has two hundred thousand dollars. That that could be millions of accounts. You couldn't even manage that one either. My thing is everybody wants this big chunk of money, and they want to win the lottery and they want to win these things. But really, what is it that you want? And, and this comes down to my landscape. You mean the dying business and vlog and stuff like that. I have a lot of friends on social media. They're like, Wayne, you do some amazing stuff, man. Your stuff is really sweet. When I win the lottery, man, I'll hit you up and you can do my backyard. You could do a swimming pool in my backyard. And you know, at first I used to get all excited, like, damn, if they win the lottery, they ain't gonna think about me. But you know what? I have never had a client who won the lottery. I've never yet had a client who won the lottery and said, hey, Wayne, can you come do my backyard? Can you do some amazing? All the people, who've called all my clients, they've worked for that money. They put in effort, even, even if they got inheritance, they build some more money. I mean, I rarely even get clients who get inheritance, get a ton of money and just blow it. Because most people who, who call us up to do work, they understand the value of hard work, understand money. Like I'm saying, I'm not against a billion dollars. Don't get me wrong, like I said, my goal is the $2.4 billion net worth. My buddy Nate and I were talking about it the other day. He's like, Wayne, you don't need a billion dollars. I said, dude, I wrote the goal, so I can't. I'm the guy, if I wrote the goal, I gotta go for it. Even if it's, even if it's the last thing I do, I gotta fight for it and if I don't hit the 2.4 damn it I'm gonna get close that's how I look at it but when you look at it most of the people who I do business with they plan for their future they they look together and that's why they call us up for a plan most of the time when somebody's just throwing money at something they don't plan anything at all they just throw it out there what happens is they end up throwing money away so people who don't build the wealth who really don't work for it just throw the money away and keep throwing it away. And that's how I look at outdoor living. If you're working your butt off and you're working hard trying to build a future, you have children, you have a family, you're trying to build something, that's why you call the landscape designer to get a plan to plan your outdoor living and get everything done correct. Hey, thanks for watching the vlog today. I hope you're enjoying uh, what we're doing.